I think I might have gone just a little bit too far this time. I'm not sure anyone really needs two ultra-wide monitors, but you have to admit it looks pretty awesome. Whether you're playing games like Battlefield 1 here, you know, you're watching movies, or you're actually getting some work done, ultra-wide monitors are incredible, and there's nothing else quite like that really truly immersive experience you get with them. So if you're a regular to my channel, you know I love a good 21 by 9 ultra-wide, but it's been a good six months since I've done a sort of best of video, which of the best ultra-wide monitors you can buy. So here is a new and improved list. I'm not saying you go out and buy two of them, but uh, if you are in the market for an ultra-wide or you want to know what the best ones out there are, here are my top five. And if you are interested in buying any of them, you can find links in the description below. So kicking things off at number five, we've got this one behind me. This is the Dell U3415W, which is a terrific upper mid-range ultra-wide. In September 2016, though, a new version of this came out, the U3417W, which is a significantly more curved screen, a redesigned stand, and HDMI 2.0. But regardless of which model of the Dell Ultrawide you go for, you get a beautiful factory calibrated 34 inch 3440 by 1440 resolution curved display, which is ideal for designers or editors or those who just need a color accurate monitor. The Dell is superbly built with an understated and quite professional look to it. Now there's no high refresh rate or adaptive sync technology like FreeSync or G-Sync on the Dell, which does keep the cost down a little bit compared to the top end ultrawides, but it's still pretty expensive at around 750 pounds or $900. Now, in fourth place is the LG 34UC98, which is a revision of the popular 34UC97, which came out at the beginning of the year. The newer version adds FreeSync, a higher 75Hz refresh rate, HDMI 2.0, and a redesigned stand. Once again, the 34-inch 3440 by 1440 curved display looks great, and the stylish body with ultra-thin bezel makes the UC98 look really futuristic. For £750 or $950, it's about on par with the competition, but it's a great choice, especially if you have an AMD graphics card to make use of the FreeSync technology. So these first two monitors are super expensive, but coming in at number three on my list is the LG 29UM68, which is a 29-inch 2560 by 1080 60Hz monitor, which may be a little bit smaller and not have all the bells and whistles of the top-end ultrawides, but it is significantly cheaper at just £220 or $300 thereabouts. Of course, not everyone wants a huge 34-inch monitor on the desk, whether they haven't got the space or perhaps even haven't got the budget for it. So a 29-inch one is a great way to experience an ultra-wide monitor. Not only that, but the lower resolution means it's better for gamers as it won't be quite as demanding so you can get higher frame rates in games. Now second and first place is an extremely close call, but my runner-up for best ultra-wide is the Acer Predator X34A, which is essentially uh, the same as the X34. Again, we're seeing another revision here, but Acer had a few quality control issues with the original one, so the X34A tends to have a better panel. It's more likely that you get a good one with less backlight bleed and no overclocking issues like the original. some of the original ones did suffer from. So the X34 and the X34A uh, is a super high-end uh, ultra-wide with a pretty high price to go along with it. For £1,000 or $1,200, you get a 34-inch, once again, 3440 by 1440 curved display, but you also get a 100 hertz refresh rate, which is significantly higher than these 60 hertz ones, and NVIDIA G-Sync, and that's really what adds to the price. Arguably, the Acer isn't the most stylish ultra-wide, and it has a huge stand which takes up a lot of space on the desk, but it's packed with features, and the customizable underside LED strip lighting is a nice touch. Picture quality is outstanding, and the inclusion of G-Sync, which as I say, definitely contributes to that higher price, is great for reducing screen tearing and making games feel smoother, especially at lower frame rates. And finally, in first place, can you guess which one? Yep, yeah, it's this one. It's the ASUS ROG Swift PG348Q. It launched all the way back in March 2016 and haven't been any revisions of it, but for me, the 348Q is still the ultimate ultra-wide. Uh, Specs-wise, it's basically identical to the Acer Pred X34A, again, with a 34-inch 3440 by 1440 curved display, 100 hertz refresh rate, and NVIDIA G-Sync. So if you have a strong brand preference, the Acer is a great alternative. It's basically the same thing. But for me, ASUS just takes the win with an ever so slightly better picture quality on its 10-bit panel, and I personally prefer the style and design. Like the Acer Predator, though, the ASUS is incredibly expensive at around £1,000 or $1,200. High-end ultra-wides like these are a serious investment, and it's true no one needs an ultra-wide, but if you're passionate about gaming or simply want the best, for me, this is it. 
It's also worth mentioning that there's going to be some great new ultra wides coming soon in 2017, like the upcoming Acer Predator X34P, and Samsung's got a new quantum dot ultra wide monitor, which I'm very excited about. And we should also be seeing monitors that support even higher refresh rates, making use of the new DisplayPort 1.3 or 1.4. And of course, if you are interested in buying any of these monitors that I featured in this video, you can check out the links in the description below. And also let me know what you make of ultra wides and whether uh, you think you'd buy one, and if so, which one. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you again right here on the Tech Chat.